Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is the topic of fast Fourier transform for ESE 563 digital signal processing. The learning outcomes is uh, the first one is to derive computation of radix 2 and radix 4 FFT from analysis equation of DFT. The second one is to apply FFT for spectral estimation of given discrete time signals. And the third one is to reason out the strength of FFT compared to classical DFT. Slides used in this video are based on the monograph by Dr. Hazli Hashim. FFT is a faster version of DFT that can be applied when we have a, a number of samples in signal uh, is a power of 2. So for FFT, the complex multiplication and also the complex addition operation is based on this function and multiply with log 2n while for DFT we have uh, the complex multiplication as 2n squared while the complex addition is n multiplied with n minus 1. Um, DFT is very inefficient when dealing with large samples since DC and N A N for multiplication and addition will give us very large values while FFT um, is significantly faster uh, and leads to more efficient algorithm the, since the multiplication and addition uh, produce smaller number compared to CN and EN for DFT. So we consider the formula for DFT to produce XK from XN multiplied with this function omega with the power of NK for N point where omega N uh, sorry for wn is equal to exponent negative j 2 pi n okay this is w with the power of n k for n point so um, this one is based on an example for n equal to 4 so k from 0 until n minus 1 so this w with the power of n k for n point is equal to this one and this one is based on Euler's identity so we have this equation cos omega n minus j sine omega n and then for k from 0 until 3 so we have this function for dft the complex multiplication is 2 n squared and complex addition is n multiplied with n minus 1 so we have 8 for multiplication for each from k equal to 0 until 3 and also for complex addition we have 3 from uh, k equal to 0 until k equal to 3 so this is the number of computation for multiplication based on this equation and this is the number of computation for complex addition based on this equation for dft so this eight number of computation for multiplication is based on this one so this is uh, the eight values uh, that involve the multiplication process okay and uh, based on this one this is uh, when we solve based on Euler's identity uh, this one becomes one for k equal to uh, one okay for n equal to one so it becomes negative j the imaginary function for n equal to um, this one based on n equal to zero this is based on n equal to one this is based on n equal to two so it becomes negative one and for n equal to three it becomes positive j so we substitute back in this equation and we rearrange based on this one this is the real values and this is the imaginary values so this um, complex addition computation which is equal to 3 based on this arrangement so however um, so the total numbers of computation for complex multiplication is 32 based on this formula for DFT and for complex addition is equal to 12 okay for n equal to 4 so for large n sample um, in DFT the periodicity and symmetry properties are implemented based on these two equations